this is uh, Gil Servergara. So um, I'm back home. Uh, it's about. It's been about. Okay, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Three days since uh, the surgery. Um, if you guys don't know, it's uh, I gave my kidney to my sister, and I just wanted to do a quick video about how I feel, and uh, how it went, and everything like that. So we left about at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning on uh, Wednesday and it was pretty quick. We went to Columbia Presbyterian Hospital and it was pretty quick and uh, about I'm gonna say 7.30 they did the surgery and uh, they knocked me out I, I, I just woke up to uh, I woke up in uh, a lot of discomfort and uh, but the good thing is I woke up uh, to a lot of my family, you know, they were in the recovery room with me, and there's a lot of discomfort. I mean, uh, I've been in a lot of fights, but this one, I felt like I got my uh, butt really kicked really good. And um, so, I got transferred to a nice room, and uh, everything that the coordinators and everybody uh, who was, who was, uh, a part of the case about the you know the whole kidney transplant case and the kidney donation case you know everything was uh, everything went as went as planned and all I can say is uh, I think Columbia did a great job with my sister especially and myself and all I can say about the surgery is that uh, for me what I feel is it's not more the uh, the actual uh, the the stitches or the cuts or the the surgery points it's more the gas that's built up and that's the most uncomfortable feeling for me so you know I kept asking for uh, for uh, uh, painkillers because uh, it's probably the most I've felt as far as uncomfortable wise because uh, I, I don't know I just felt I felt so I feel bloated right now I feel I'm, I'm pretty bloated I feel very bloated right now and thank God uh, my wife is helping me and you know, I do gotta take her out to dinner after all this. I'll show you later the uh, the points of where they uh, access the kidney and everything. But oh yeah, this is uh, it's for a good cause. You know, I realize that. However, it is a little painful. You know, I, but because uh, I believe I'm very strong-willed. So uh, the first day after the surgery, I after they took my catheter out, which is uh, it didn't hurt as bad as uh, most people said they would. You know, I, I, I've asked around about uh, catheters being pulled out of, of your penis, and uh, it didn't hurt as I, I didn't it didn't hurt as much as I think it would, you know, because of the information I got from other people. But um, it was as if as uh, you just let a really good like uh, you urinated, you held your urine, and then you just let it out. That's how that's how I felt. It, it didn't hurt too bad, and um, like I said. It's the bloated, it's the, it's the bloated feeling that I'm not comfortable with. You know, like, like I said, I, um, the first day after the surgery, the first time they took the catheter out, I actually, um, I actually just went to go walk and to, uh, to go visit my sister. And, you know, she was good. The kidney was great. Uh, you know, thank God I have a good kidney. And, um. Yeah, that was a it was a it was quite a struggle, but the nurses and the doctors always encourage you to walk as much as you can because that's what they say is the only or one of the only uh, one of the only remedies to to relieving yourself of the pressure of the gas. So and um, so I went home, everything went well, and yesterday was a little tough because my bed is a little low, so you know my whole core is getting engaged and it hurt it hurt a little bit. And uh, this morning I went for a walk, and I'll probably go for a walk after this video, after I eat quick lunch. And oh, one more thing, like um, before you leave, they want you to make one bowel movement, at least one bowel movement. So I was struggling for that one, and um, so thank God I made two already. So I guess because they move your uh, intestines around when they move around when they when they search for that kidney, and I guess that's one concern they have. That uh, you uh, you have good bowel movement, so I've been um, taking uh, small steps, and I've been you can't push because it's, it's, you know they're afraid it's gonna rip up the sutures inside there. 
So I've been taking it slow. You know, I want to thank uh, everybody on Facebook for, um, you know, for their prayers and their, you know, their concerns. I, I greatly appreciate it. And um, I'm sure, you, I'm sure some of you are wondering what I take to relieve myself or what they give me as medicine. So um, they gave me this uh, docusate sodium, which is basically a, it's basically a uh, stool softener. And I got this because the uh, the nurse had uh, recommended this. It's um, it's generic. It's from CVS. It's generic uh, version of uh, simethicone, which is um, gas pain reliever, and that's helped, you know, relieve a lot of the bloatiness and stuff like that. And these pills, which I don't want to take, it's a Percocet, so you know, I don't want to take that. That's too heavy. That'll put me to sleep. But I have been taking um, Tylenol, extra strength. It's been helping a lot, and uh, you know, obviously, it depends on uh, the sh threshold that you, uh, you know, you as a as an individual um, have. And uh, other than that, everything's pretty good. You know, this is uh, the beginning stages of recovery, so hopefully, I can make more videos as I get better. And uh, obviously, making videos like this one right here is uh, it's more relieving for me because I I can get my mind off of things. You know, I, I would appreciate it if you like, comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll see what happens. So hopefully in, in uh, the next one to two weeks, I'll get a lot better. It will get a lot better and I can do more videos and um, we'll take it from there. But before I do leave, I do want to show you the uh, the points of where they, uh, you know, they cut me and, you know, and everything else. So um, with that, take care and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.